This is Good Evening Weather, a review of today's overall weather conditions on Weather Now. The evening report on Weather Now begins with the Timmins City Hall webcam as well as the Hearst and Moose City Airport webcams. We'll also display this evening's weather headlines, which includes windy conditions and variable clouds. You'll also find neighborhood observations from this afternoon. A very pleasant Tuesday evening with minus 3 here at home in Timmins, Captus Casing, partly cloudy as well, minus 4, very nice in fact. Overcast with clear breaks at Smooth Rock Falls, it gets a little bit cooler between Cap and Cochrane by about 2 degrees. Blanket of cloud with a 6 degree temperature difference between Moosonee and Matheson. And lucky number minus 7, the best looking community on this map, Hearst, Ontario with some fair weather. Did not have the systems map this morning, but for this morning, gusty winds northwest at 20 k's an hour. Barometric pressure is way up there, 30.4 inches or 103 kilopascals, very dry, stable air. We see some black lines on the map. That's a low pressure system over Atlantic Canada. Strong pressure gradient over there versus what we have here, which means the isobars, the pressure gradient is that closed in, which means it's very windy for here at home. This afternoon, well, we introduced a higher level, 30.53 inches, 103 and a half kilopascals, very dry, stable air. Very windy, the wind gusts pick up, 20 gusting 40 plus kilometers an hour with the peak wind gusts almost at 50 k's an hour for Timbs and Capus Casing. Low pressure over Lake Superior moves south, it does not affect us too much. Variable clouds, we introduced a little bit more cloud cover. The system out in Atlantic Canada and Central Quebec is like a warm front and the clouds are steering backwards and that's why we have an extra layer cloud. More overcast for the eastern part of our broadcast region and it's better weather as I always say for the western Trans Canada. Five o'clock today, Broken layer clouds at Timmins, 20,000 feet. Three layers of capus gazing. Fair weather at 21, 23,000 feet. It's almost like saying feathers. Broken layer, 26,000 feet. First pilot report, wind shear runway 03 at 3.10 p.m. Wind shear all runways for the dinner hour, and it diminishes after 8 o'clock. But there is a metro liner that reported moderate turbulence below 4,000 feet, or between four and 5,000 feet, and low-level wind shear below 2,000 feet as well. By the way, cloud cover. Thicker cloud cover off towards the northeast, but as soon as you go towards Capus Gasing Hurst, the sky condition looks a little bit better. By 8 o'clock, the so called wind shear is pretty much all done. We have a broken layer of clouds. You can see the edge of the cloud cover northeast of the Trans Canada. It's broken at 26,000 feet for Cap, 22,000 feet for Timmins. Cloudier to the north, a little bit clear towards the west. And finally, the real time winds. Aha, the answer to the winds. High pressure sitting over the Prairie Provinces with a wonderful strong clockwise wind flow. Low pressure up in northern Hudson Bay with a counterclockwise wind flow steers the winds together from the north. Your weather forecasts are next. Here are the Weather Network's forecast alerts for Timmins, Capus, Gasing, Hearst as we predict a significant cooldown within the next 24 hours. Next is the Weather Network's 18-hour forecast, beginning with overnight Tuesday, overcast conditions at Blue City, variable clouds for the east, fair weather for the west, temperatures around minus 13 degrees. Wednesday mornings, temperatures will remain steady, with light flurries beginning at Blue City, partly cloudy for the east, and fair weather between Tivis and Hearst, clear for Capus Gasing. Our weather for Wednesday afternoon expects flurries to continue from Moosonee with minus 9 degrees, warmer with minus 5 with fair weather to clear skies. The weather network predicts less than 1 centimeter snow from Moosonee, elsewhere 0 centimeters, and gusty northwest winds will continue between 15 and 30 kilometers per hour. 